Hi, this is Chris Shattuck with buildamodule.com, and in this video we're going to be talking about working with functions in Drupal. So like the video that came before this where we talked about arrays, we're gearing this lesson more towards people that don't have a background in PHP development, but that need to work with code in Drupal for some reason. So here's what we're going to cover. First of all, we'll look at how to identify a function, and then we'll talk about what a function actually is and why we would use one. We'll go over some handy conventions for creating a function, some typical conventions that are used in, in the Drupal space in particular. We'll look at using references, which is an important concept to understand when we're using hooks in Drupal. And speaking of hooks, we'll talk about how to identify a hook function and use one. We won't go into depth in this lesson, but there are some other videos on this site that do. Next, we'll take a look at creating private functions, or basically functions that we don't want other modules to access. Next, we'll look at using variables that are outside of the scope of our function, or that are basically defined somewhere else in Drupal. And finally, we'll look at storing a permanent variable inside of a function so we can reuse it. Let's go ahead and get started by looking at how to identify a function. I'm going to click this to make it bigger. When we're creating a function, we're going to start off with the function keyword followed by a space. Next is the name of the function, in this case it's demo underscore name. Following that are parentheses, and inside of those parentheses are any parameters we want to pass to the function. So these are treated as variables within the function. Following the ending parentheses is a curly bracket, an opening curly bracket, and then everything between this opening curly bracket and the ending curly bracket is the code that you want to run inside of this function. In this case, what we're doing is creating a string. It starts with hello world, my name is, and then we're adding this variable that's being passed to the function using a concatenation operator, which is just a period, and then the variable. So when we pass some text here, it should be added to the string and then the return keyword is used to then return that value to whatever is calling it. So here below is an example of how we would use this function. So we're using the echo function, which will take whatever we pass to it and print it to the screen. And then we're calling the function by using the function name. And then we're passing it any parameters we want to th with these opening and closing parentheses. So we're passing it the text Chris. So when we pass this, to this function, it should say, hello world, my name is Chris. Let's go ahead and take a look at this function in action. So what I've done is created an example page here, and I've generated this example page through a simple custom module called demo. And you can see the code right here. It's very simple. We're just using a hook menu function, and we're creating a page using a function called demo page. So if you're curious about how to create a module shell, it's really simple. We have a couple videos on the site, including one free one that'll give you some details on how to do that. So I'm not going to go into detail here, but I just wanted to show you that we have some very simple code here and that it's inside of a module called demo. Okay, let's go back to the code. 